Hi, I'm Dave from Garmin. I've been selling our G1000s with our GFC 700 Autopilot for years. Everyone at the shows ask us, when would our Autopilot be available for retrofit? Well, the time is now. We have the GFC 500 Autopilot available for several models of single engine piston aircraft. The amazing part is you get our GFC 700 capabilities in an Autopilot that has a starting price of under $10,000. Now do note, you must have the G5 attitude indicator for display and enunciation of the autopilot. Now, the first feature I'd like to cover with the autopilot is what we call ESP or electronic stability protection. ESP is working for you in the background while you're hand flying the aircraft. You're flying along, you start banking and the autopilot's not turned on, you start banking and you get an excessive bank, the servo's gonna engage and it's gonna give you a little nudge to try to center you up. If the nose is down and you start over speeding, it's gonna give you a little push up. Same thing if you're about to stall the airplane, it's gonna give you a little push down. If it doesn't think you're flying the airplane, it's actually gonna turn it on in a what we call level mode. It's just gonna level the aircraft and keep it straight and level. So we are watching out for you in the background. Now let's look at some of the features of the autopilot itself when it is engaged. So again, this is a full featured autopilot. And by that, I mean it can couple to ILSs, it can couple to LPV, you can climb in airspeed modes, vertical speed modes, everything a big autopilot does, and including a full flight director. And again, if you haven't flown with the flight director, you want to. And you're gonna see the little what we call command bars come up here in a second. So let's first say we're uh, flying along and uh, we're climbing out. You want to select an altitude. So you've got an altitude selector right here. And we can uh, look at it and I dial in the altitude I want. So let's say 4,500 feet. Now I want to climb to 4,500 feet. Do I want to climb in what we call pitch mode? First I'll engage my autopilots and you're going to hear the servos kick in. In a pitch mode, I'd actually take this wheel and each time I click it, it goes up one degree. Then the airplane's gonna start climbing to what we call the command bars. I could also climb in a vertical speed mode. Again, I got the little wheel on the controller. I pitch up on this and roll it up. Each click is 500, 100 feet per minute. And I'm now set a climb of 500 feet per minute. And the airplane's gonna climb at 500 feet per minute. Or I can climb in what's it indicated airspeed mode. So once I push that, you're gonna notice over here on my airspeed tape, I can select the airspeed I want the airplane to climb at. And it's gonna hold a pitch to climb at that airspeed. Pretty amazing in this class of autopilot to have that type of functionality. A few other things we have over here. One is the level button. Kind of like I was talking about with the uh, ESP. Let's say you're just flying along, you fly inadvertently into the clouds and they get a little disoriented, you can just hit the level button, turns the autopilot on, levels out the airplane. Now you can sort out what's going on. So push the blue button, then ask questions later. At that point, then I could select heading bug, heading mode on my autopilot, and then dial a heading to turn around to get out of the clouds or do what I want. Or I can select a climb, an altitude I wanna to climb to and climb to that altitude or descend down. But uh, you have that functionality again with the level button. Then as we move our way over here, there's our autopilot engage, and then for our flight director, for our command bars to come up. On some aircraft, we'll have yaw dampener, which will stabilize out the, uh, the wagging of the tail. Then we come over here, we've got nav mode. This is gonna be able to track either VOR nav, ILS, and uh, GPS. And with GPS, it's gonna give you the roll steering, so it's gonna smooth out all your turns and give you nice intercepts into your next course. Heading mode is what that says, is heading mode. You can actually select heading on the autopilot indicator, or if you have a G5 HSI, you could select your heading down on the G5 HSI. Then we have approach mode. Now with approach mode, that's actually give you coupled vertical navigation all the way down on an ILS or a WAS LPV approach. Then one more feature we have is what's called go around mode. 
once you get to the point, if you're flying an approach, you need to go around. The first thing you want to do is hit go around. It's going to start pitching the airplane up. You're going to add power, gear, flaps, whatever it is on your airplane, and start the climb out. And it's going to initialize the go around. This is a lot of features that are packed into an economical autopilot. Now to learn more, contact your authorized dealer or visit us online at Garmin.com.